Welcome to the Bivouac. My name's Josh, and today we're going to be covering my recently purchased 2004 KTM 950 Adventure S. Over the past couple months, I've been looking for a second bike to complement my R80 GSPD. Being that I love the rally inspired Dakar bikes, whether it be the liveries or just the pure rawness, they're just truly badass bikes. You had factories building these bikes to go racing in the desert at full speed through the desert sands in Morocco. Um, with just the hopes of winning the Paris Dakar. Um, so, looking for bikes, I was looking at the Honda Africa Twin XRV650, which is a truly classic Dakar bike. Another classic bike is the Kajiva Lucky Explorer Elephant. And then I was also looking at the R100 GSPDs. Um, and then I came across the KTM 950. Um, you know, he had the likes of Fabrizio Mioni, Giovanni Sala, and Richard Sankt riding these bikes through the desert at like high speeds of 90, 100 miles per hour, um, and just brutalizing the competition. Um, you have a 950cc LC8 engine that puts out nearly 100 horsepower. ABS? I don't think so. Traction control? No way. Driving modes? Get out of here. This bike is truly raw. Um, and it's something out of this world. Um, I truly believe it's a, a future classic and I know they're not making anything like this on the market today. So I found this bike on Craigslist in early December. It was out in California. Um, I called the owner and we spoke. He said it was in great condition. Um, everything seemed to check out so I PayPal'd him the money and arranged shipping. Um, a few weeks later it arrived at my house and Lo and behold, it wasn't in, this, in the condition that he described. Shocking, right? Um, so, a few things. It has leaking suspension. I dropped the um, engine guard down and there's a coolant leak somewhere. Um, the brakes are totally shot. So, apart from that, I mean, cosmetically, it's in pretty nice shape. So, eh, that's something, I guess. So, what are my goals for this bike? Well. Initially, I wanted to build a Mioni 950 Rally replica Dakar bike. Um, this is what I started out wanting to do. Um, but after thinking, it's a 04 with the Galeosis livery. The aftermarket support isn't that great. It would probably require a ton of um, custom work to it, which I'm okay with. I have the means to do it, um, capable of doing it but I'm just not looking for that kind of headache right now. Um, two, I could fix what's wrong with it and just ride it as is. Or three, um, which is probably the route I'm gonna go, is do a nut and bolt restoration on it. Um, it's a truly legendary bike and it deserves to have a good life. Um, my R80 GSPD is very nicely restored and this one is truly gonna be a nice compliment to it. So without further ado, let's get it on the lift, get some further close-ups, and go.
for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to follow this build as uh, it keeps happening. Thanks.